Hello and welcome. My name is Bethany and I'm going to be your facilitator for this workshop. I've been working in the field of instructional design for over 20 years, primarily in higher ed, but I've done a little corporate instructional design and uh, instructional design for nonprofits and, and for the military. They're all different, but they're all the same. Um, and I love them all. I especially love interacting with other individuals that have an interest in instructional design. And that leads us to here and now. So thank you so much for taking this workshop. I really look forward to interacting with you. Okay, so what are we gonna do over the next four weeks? In a nutshell, we're going to be taking a look at some of the different theories and research that inform instructional design. Uh, we're going to see what the neurosciences and the cognitive sciences and the learning sciences uh, fields have to offer us as instructional designers. What, what do they tell us? How is it that their research um, is used in instructional design. And more specifically, we're going to be looking at, you know, how our brains work in terms of memory and attention and transfer and thinking about thinking, metacognition. There's a lot of stuff that we're going to be covering over this next four weeks and uh, working with and wrestling with ideas and concepts and so on. So uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be great. That's it in a nutshell, but let me go ahead and share the workshop area with you so that we can go into a little more depth. And first, a little bit of the lay of the land for those of you who are not familiar with Moodle. The workshop is in Moodle and we're here on the welcome page, which has more information on navigating the course as well as the syllabus, uh, your progress that you can check and see what you've completed and what's been graded and so on. Um, the help forum, water cooler, and the news forum, I will periodically post uh, information, resources, some of which are optional that I find interesting and some of which are important and necessary to completing the week's activities. I will definitely you know, let you know what I post is optional and what the, that I post, that I'm posting is not optional. <laughs> okay, I'll make it very clear. Um, over here on the left, we have a live se session information. We're going to have live sessions every Wednesday. So for the four Wednesdays of this workshop from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern, that's uh, 1 to 2 p.m. Central and 12 to 1 p.m. Mountain Time, which is my time zone um, near Denver. And uh, 11 a.m. to 12 in the Pacific time zone. I think that's everything. So again, 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern. You can get the link here. Or you can get the week, the link in every week. So you can navigate the weeks here. And in each week, you will see the heading for that, kind of like a synopsis of what's going on that week. This week, week one, theory to practice. And our learning objectives are just gonna be differentiating between instructional design theory and learning theory. This is really important because when you're reading research and when you're, when you're reading uh, you know, articles in the field, you need to be able to differentiate between is this an instructional design theory or a learning theory because it's going to inform how you approach what you're reading. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to look at various des instructional design models and their applications. So every week you are going to see the heading for that week, basically the overview, the big picture summary of what's going on for that week. 
and then the learning outcomes for that week. And then um, there's various activities along with any times or due dates or deadlines associated with them. So this live session is 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern. This activity that's due has an initial due date of July 19 and then a secondary due date of July 21st. Okay, so that's how you navigate throughout this week, throughout the various weeks of the workshop. And you've got a final project that you'll be working on over the next four weeks along with the weekly activities. So definitely read this and kind of get up to speed on what's expected so that you can ask the questions uh, early or earlier rather than later and make sure that you understand everything that's um, going to be going on. We've got some uh, uh, an overview, which includes a video this week and a practice quiz. There's the introduction forum to get to know one another and kind of get a feel for who, who's in the workshop and what sort of things they do in instructional design or elsewhere in our higher ed ecosystem. We've got the live session. We've got some readings some more infographics and videos to view, and then the activity. All right, so that's a kind of a big picture overview of what's happening, a little bit of how to navigate in the workshop, and what's coming up this week, along with just a quick intro uh, about who I am. Remember, you can get more help on navigating the course over in the welcome section or you can post a question in the help forum also in the help forum is my other contact information which i'm not going to open up here because this will be on youtube <laughs> and uh, they'll have my phone number my email and so on so that you can get a hold of me in the way that's best for you all right, so I really, again, look forward to interacting with you. Thank you so much for joining, and I will be seeing you in the workshop. Take care.